curling stones. Refrigerators. Aluminum baseball bats. And opalescent glass. The sport of curling is a combination of shuffleboard, billiards, and bowling on ice. Players aim a large stone at a target while trying to knock the opponent's stones away from the target. As the stone glides along the ice, team members sweep rooms in its path to control its speed and trajectory. Curling stones are made of granite, but only two quarries in the world, one in Wales and one in Scotland, produce the unique type of granite that's required, a fine grain and free of quartz. This unique stone has three times the impact resistance of regular granite. The quarry tries to avoid traditional blast mining because that fractures the stone. Instead, they locate flaws in the rock face and pry chunks off of it with an excavator. This chunk weighs about 20 tons and is the size of a small car. The next step is to divide it into more manageable slabs using a thick cable cutter with abrasive rings made of diamond particles. A large pulley system moves the cable against the rock at high speed, and the diamonds slowly wear through the granite. Avoiding flaws and weak points, workers trace circles the size of curling stones on the best quality areas. The cut slab then moves inside the quarry building, where this core drill's diamond cutters bore right through the slab excising a blank that will become a curling stone. The blanks weigh almost 60 pounds a piece. Workers lift them out with an industrial strength suction cup, then transfer them to a container bound for a curling stone factory in Canada. There, a drill bores a channel a little over a half inch wide right through the center. This is for attaching the curling stone's handle. But that's still a long way off. First, this machine has to carve the blank into the shape of a curling stone. The machine's curved arm is lined with diamond cutters. It shapes half the stone, then workers flip the blank over so it can finish the other half. The next machine carves out a pocket in the bottom of the stone. This will hold a high resistance insert of extra fine grain Scottish granite that will extend the curling stone's life. After lining the pocket with epoxy, the insert is positioned. A hydraulic press expels any trapped air and holds the insert in place until it firmly bonds. Next, a grinding machine, following a template, makes a center cup in both the top and bottom of the stone. Curlers can attach the handle to either cup, depending on which granite surface they want gliding on the ice. Workers bolt the stone to a spinning polisher and buff the surface with five progressively finer grades of diamond abrasive pads. Then, they blast the side with tiny glass beads. This pits the surface to better distribute impact force, preventing the side from chipping as it strikes other stones. Running the top and bottom over coarse sandpaper gives the stone more traction on ice. The finished curling stone weighs in at 40 pounds. The factory molds the stone's handle from durable, impact-resistant plastic. This computer-guided engraving machine can embellish it with any name or logo. Paint is applied to the recessed areas to make the lettering or design stand out. Finally, 
the finished handle is bolted through that center hole drilled earlier. From the quarry, to the factory, to the ice, this beautifully crafted curling stone is ready for competition. When we return, the cold hard truth about refrigerators.